Hey everyone, welcome to Tisha Creations. Today we are going to do a simple blouse, which is going to be a really nicely tight fitted blouse, which you can use it for sari or you can use it for modern top, as a modern top for the pants, long skirts, short skirts, or for lehenga, you can make a small blouse like that, okay? So um, we're going to do that. For that, um, you need a material, nice material, and you need a lining material also. That's the one I'm going to do today with the lining. Uh, for some reason, anything that I make, I use lining. I think it depends on the uh, material that you choose, right? And uh, the first thing you need to know is your measurements. I'm going to show you that. The neck measurement is going to be standard, like the width of the neck. It's going to be three inches that's standard and the length of the neck you can decide you have to put put it where your shoulder starts from the neck and you can decide how much you need I put it as four inches so it's gonna be almost close to the neck that's the one I was doing okay so that is the length of the neck now you need the shoulder measurement. Shoulder measurement is going to be measured from this bone on the shoulder to this bone. Okay, that's your shoulder measurement. Now you need armhole measurement. Just put your tape like that and you measure your armhole. So any measurement you take, uh, make sure you're giving it a little bit looseness. Don't take it too tight, okay? So that's your armhole measurement. And then you're going to measure from the shoulder to the highest point of your bust. That's going to be your bust length. Okay, from the shoulder. Do not do like this. Go over the highest point of your bust. That's your bust measurement. Okay, so after that, you need a chest measurement. Chest measurement, how you do is, you take your full arm hole measurement and then divide it by six and then add one inch to it. That's gonna be your chest measurement. Okay, this is the bust measurement. And now you need the highest point of your bust. You need the distance between those two. Okay, that's how you take that. Now you need your waist length. That's also you take from the shoulder and then go over your bust line and then wherever your, if your waist is this, the tape is going to start from the shoulder over your highest point of the bust and then measure it. That's your base length. And then you take the hip length or how much length you want for your blouse. That's But this blouse is going to be short. So the base length measurement is pretty much longer than the actual blouse that I'm gonna make. So my measurement for the small blouse that we're gonna make, white blouse, it's a white color material, okay? Uh, gonna make the length is the same length as the waist length. So that's all it is. Okay, and it's gonna be a sleeveless blouse. So since you take all the measurements, now we can start how to draft a basic bodice block. That is a blouse <laughs> and it's very important that you once you measure it it's gonna be you'll think it's gonna be hard to do it every time so that's why you're doing it one time so you with that bodice block with your measurement you can actually do make a lot of new new patterns with that use that bodice block and put it on another paper and this cut it and all this to make different necks different um, shape of the blouse different necks and all those stuff okay so 
let's start the bodice block drafting and now we're gonna take the round bust okay just like we were taking the length going over the highest point of the bust we're gonna make sure that is your highest point of the bust that's gonna be your bust measurement okay and if you're taking a um, hip uh, base measurement give a little bit looseness go around the smallest portion of your waist that's going to be your waist measurement and if you're taking the hip measurement i have to go back a little more <laughs> for the hip measurement take the highest point of your hip your glutes okay highest point and that's where you take the um, measurement into the drafting now let's do the drafting pattern drafting okay here I'm taking the neck measurement I'm taking four inches for the length of the neck from the shoulder point how much length you need okay you can take um, longer length or shorter length but I took four inches down and the width of the neck is kind of standard which is three inches that's the first thing that I'm marking in this paper okay this is a standard construction paper that's used for the projects you can use any kind of papers then my this line is the shoulder line okay this is the length shoulder line this way and this is the length so the blouse is going to be construct the pattern is going to be constructed this way so I marked how much length deep leg, um, neck I need so I marked here four inches and now I'm gonna measure from the top and mark the bus measurement the how much you measured from the shoulder passing the highest point of I mean um, counting up to the highest point of your bust that is the measurement okay I am putting it as 8 inches here now from the top I'm gonna mark your waist measurement so I'm gonna mark here as 12 that's my waist measurement and then if you need longer blouse you can add your hip length or how much length you want for your uh, blouse okay I'm making a small blouse so I'm just taking if the waist length is 12 I'm just taking uh, 13 as my length of the blouse Remember I said this blouse is a short blouse. You can use it for sari. You can use it for pants. Like a modern top. You can use it for lehenga. You can use it for long skirts or short skirts. Anything. Okay. So after that mark that. Now I'm going to take. Remember this is the. Neck width. And then from the. Beginning. I'm measuring the shoulder measurement which is one fourth of your back shoulder that you took in the beginning so I'm gonna mark it as mine is gonna be around here okay it's gonna be my shoulder so I did that now I'm gonna draw a line down that's gonna meet the 
the neckline. See, using this L scale really gives you, because it's perpendicular on the other side, it really gives you the correct length. So I draw a line there. And I'm just going to draw another line for the bus line. Then I'm going to draw another line for the waist line, wherever the marks you gave. Okay. And the hip line I marked. I'll take a little more waist length. Yeah, I'm just measuring as the basic bodice block, but you can cut that into small skirts. And here, I'm going to draw that line down as the neckline. That is from shoulder to the neck. Okay, so from here... Um, now you have to measure one fourth of your bus line. So your bus line, how much you got divided by four because we are making only one fourth of the size of your size into the paper. Okay, so my bus is going to be around here and my waist also one fourth of the round waist that you took okay so my waist is going to be around here and my hip measurement but you don't need a hip measurement here that's also one fourth of the round hip because you're making a short blouse but i'm making this bodice block so you can use it for any um any pattern you're making so that's why I'm adding hip measurement also here but we need only up to here for the blouse we are making today so and now we have to make an armhole line for the armhole line the measurement is one um, I mean one fourth of your bust measurement divided by six I'm sorry the armhole measurement is, I mean the chest measurement is, the armhole measurement that you took at the beginning, round armhole, divided by 6, plus 1 inch. Okay, so that's going to be, mine is going to be, Now we're going to do the neckline. I'm going to do the, if you don't have this also, you can just combine with your hands. Doesn't matter. So that's going to be my front neck. Okay. And the back neck is going to be shorter. That's going to be the back neck. Okay. Hope you can see it. That's the front neck. Okay. I divided this three inches neckline. And did that. Now we're gonna mark, combine all this chest with the armhole. We're gonna take the back armhole, just go like this. Okay, that's going to be your back armhole. All you have to do with, just combine it. 
those points so you got the back armhole but the front armhole is take the middle line middle point of this line and go here around one inch go back one inch and then you're gonna combine this line to that one inch line and combine with this because the back armhole is always different size okay now we're gonna combine this part with the waistline and from that waistline to the hip line so you can front bodice block okay so now we got the front neckline back neckline front armhole back this is the front front arm armhole back armhole this is the back neckline front back neckline you can really shape it nicely i messed it up that's okay and now so you got kind of this waistline is very thin i'm actually making it for um my daughter she got a very thin waistline that's why the waistline is like that okay so but that's how you make it or you can always uh, combine like this okay so now we're gonna put some darts and you're gonna measure the highest point of your bust the distance between two bust the highest point of the two bust which is the nipple line uh, that's called apex uh, so highest point of the bust is called apex so the distance between two highest point two bust a highest point that's where you're gonna mark on this bust line okay that's gonna be uh, and divided it by two because you're taking only the one side of the front line so that's gonna be here and you take one inch down take a point there and how much you measure here okay how much you measure there that's how much you're gonna measure here and you connect and you take two inches okay that's, that's okay that's two inches there you take from this point two inches here that's going to be our dot line and you're going to connect this line okay It's gonna be two inches there and this is gonna be an inch so we're gonna connect these two lines and then take half an inch half an inch here and connect these lines sorry my lines are getting crooked and you connect these points also
we are putting dots because this is going to be a really uh, fitted blouse. That's where it's going to be. And now the waistline and the chest line we have. Take half of it and do the same thing. Measure one inch here. Put a dot there. And from here measure one inch and put a dot there. And you're going to combine these two. Actually, this one, we're just going to, and uh, half an inch, half an inch dot here. Don't put one inch there, okay? So half an inch this side, half an inch this side, and you're just combining those two. So you got that. Now, th this is going to be a fitted blouse. That's why we are doing this. Now take the middle point of this from the neckline and the chest line. Take the middle point and you do, this, do the same. Take half an inch, um, I mean one inch dot here and combine that line and take half an inch on either side and combine that okay so you got all three dots so the only this one since you took half an inch half an inch here there's one inch so we have to add that one inch at the bottom otherwise it's gonna close when we stitch and the bottom part is going to be shorter okay so we're going to add that one inch here you measure and add that and combine with the hip line okay so that's how it is but the blouse, if it is shorter blouse, that's like the one that I'm doing right now. Um, this is the this is the line, okay, for the shorter blouse. So then we're gonna add one inch here and combine like this for the shorter blouse. Okay, that's for the shorter blouse because that is going to be our ending point. And the longer blouse, when we measure the hip line, but shorter blouse, you don't need the hip line, you need only the uh, waist line. Okay, so when you have the shorter blouse, the darts are going to change also. The darts are going to be uh, starting from here half an inch half an inch and mark it here just like this the dots are going to start just like this not like a uh, what is it called triangle or a triangle piece like that okay so that's all it is and then when you cut it you first cut the back back neck go through the back neck and the back shoulder and then you place it on the side and then cut the front armhole and the front neck okay and always make sure you take one inch from the top line to this shoulder line because shoulder is not always straight it has little slope so take one inch down and combine neckline with the shoulder line, okay? And now, uh, yeah, to draw it nicely. That's the front armhole and this is the back armhole. And all this darts, okay? And give little shape for the hip line and the waistline. But our today's pattern blouse i'm making it with this much length okay if it is this much length the darts are going to start from 
from the middle is going to start half an inch half an inch and join these if it is starting from the uh, middle and that's how I did for the blouse that I'm doing so the dot starting from there and our blouse today is this is the length okay remember that one inch we added at the bottom this was the actual waist length but we added that okay and uh, this is the back back bodice block we have the dot line also which one you see the other one the front uh, bodice block we took one inch down from the bus line it started from here but the back dot it's starting one inch from the chest line okay it is starting one inch from the chest line and take two inches from here and connect all the dots half an inch on either side and connect all the dots okay and you know this is the uh, length between this um, space between the highest point of the bust which is the apex and you divided it by two and that is the measurement okay okay so i have already cut it here this is my back neck and this is my front neck okay this is actually my measurement for the white blouse that I'm doing and uh, this was for my daughter that's why I was doing so instead of cutting into back and neck back and front in one you can just do the back first and all these lines you can continue here just like you can see the back continue here you can make the back on this side also but this will be easy for you to make okay so that is done all you have to do is cut it like this cut it like this and place it on the white tool so let me move that now we have the white material you have to do it front pattern since I um this cloth is very the short one okay we're gonna uh, take the front one for the short this is for the longer blouse the pattern but we are gonna cut it short that's why I took only this much so for the cloth until it has the same width plus one inch as the material so what you're going to do is you know we don't want to waste any material so always make sure the material that you're folding is only one inch more than the pattern just iron the material first very nicely and use the uh, back side first okay and then pin it up so it will not move and start cutting the back uh, it depends on do you need back or front open okay this one it is back open that's why I'm putting the front pattern piece on the fold of the material but this one the back pattern even though I'm gonna put it on the fold we're gonna cut it as two okay we cut the material 
into two and then make it and if you're putting a zipper make sure you leave at least one or two inches on this side for the back okay if you're putting the zipper at the front also on the fold uh, I mean you don't keep it on the fold but if you but this pattern back has the zipper so cut the material into two only for the front you're putting it on the fold cut the material into two and leave at least two inches where the back middle of the back meets okay and cut it and cut all the way and then you put some holes on the points dark points on the pattern paper so you can put a um, marker and just mark it and then go ahead and connect the dots and the pattern the cloth also will have the dots marked okay or you can measure you can measure this and uh, do it again on the cloth what I do is I put some holes and I just put marks through the holes so it was easy for me to draw okay um, this doesn't have that third dot but the blouse that I'm stitching has the dot this, so if you have this pattern once you cut this pattern ready it's so easy for you to make so many clothes cutting into different um, styles okay that's why it's important to have a basic pattern in case if you lose weight or um, put on weight or you can adjust according to that okay and when you take the material always make sure the dots are going to be stitched to the right left um, to the wrong side okay so this is how you have the dots and you're going to iron the dots with the middle line like this so you'll have the other two lines on sides and you're going to start stitching from that point to the other point and make sure you're stitching it on the uh, wrong side okay what uh, actually stitched for this I'm gonna just show you because we don't have much time in the video the first thing we do after you cut it you go ahead and stitch all this darts okay after stitching the darts make sure you stitch it on the back side and the front side means if you have a lining this one has a lining so I put the same material so I'm what I did was to have front and the back look nice see this you will not uh, see the difference between the front and the back see so for that what I did was I made the dots while I'm stitching I can show you how I'm stitching the dots so I stitched all these three dots first and then I stitched the uh, lining material also the dots and then I took both material the wrong side together and stitched all the way okay except the shoulder and the bottom line and then turned it inside out so it looked very neat and then um, stitch at the bottom 
and uh, this one I didn't finish stitching this yet this one I wanted to put the shape like this at the back see that so when you wear sari and all it will look really nice okay since I haven't stitched you can see it very well okay so I have kind of this shape and I'm planning to put the zipper at the back instead of buttons and here at this point I will be putting a loop and a button so it will look really nice okay I guess I am done thank you so much everyone for watching thanks for your patience and please give any suggestions if you like to and please please subscribe share like and please do share okay and please watch all the videos till the end hope you enjoyed it and until I see you again keep smiling come back and see me and watch all the videos god bless everyone bye bye